coverage of the NHL. We're in the Twin Cities here in Minnesota tonight, and we are ready to get wild. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Wild have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Here's a chance in front, and that goes off a stick. Oh, what a save he made on the one-timer. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Michaels won the draw there on the attack. Gains the zone from the right. Here's a chance! Oh, how did he get a piece of that? And the puck's not loose. With authority. Minnesota's got it across the line. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's a short pass to Carlson. Puck picked up by Crosby. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. And he loses control here. Scores! And just like that, we've got our first in the game. Pounder didn't even have a broadcast headset on. I was just putting it on, James. That was incredibly fast, and the coach couldn't have drawn it up any quicker. They say, hey, let's get off to a good start. I'd say they just did. Well, this is a great goal. The goal scorer's goal, actually, James. The quick release shot. You're keeping your feet moving to be able to shoot it in stride. You got to know exactly where you are on the ice as well. So some key awareness to be able to get that goal. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Oh, and a good heads-up defensive play. Oh, and he whips on it. There's the double G of the game, the great glove save. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Boyboost's got that zone ability that can help him generate some chances, guys. With the team trailing here, let's look to him to try to make a difference for them. Slides the puck across to Burns. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. The Penguins look to start the transition game. right now. He is so dialed in. He's trapping the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. Moves it to the middle. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. He got all that hit. Moves the puck. The Penguins looking against the half wall. Grabbed along the board by Latang. There's a big hit in the corner. It's shot off. This is imposing your will on the opponent, just blasting through everyone, getting your own rebound to get the goal. You see players taking this shot all the time in practice with their skill coaches, and I'm telling you right now, this is perfect execution. Shooting in stride, quick snap of the wrist, and putting it in the back of the net. Gotta see where you want to be. His head was up the whole time. Minnesota's won the draw in the neutral zone. Takes the feed. by Fleury. Lemieux's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. The Penguins come up with the defensive zone draw. Take it along the wall by Rust. And he'll regroup deep inside the defensive zone with the puck. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Prosser. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Let's it fly! Oh, fantastic save by Dubnik! Picked up along the way by Rust. Turned that one aside. Moves it to Niederreiter. Sends the pass over. Oh, stick save and a butte! And some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. Here's a shot! 
And there's a club save on the play. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Pittsburgh's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. And they win the faceoff and set up to go on the attack. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Addison's moving the puck through his own zone. Quick feed to Michael. Dropped him in the open ice. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Lemieux's known to deke at top speeds with his ankle breaker zone ability. Silverberg's teammates love setting him up for a one-time blast. His 1T zone ability really makes him an offensive threat. I'll be keeping tabs on these players all night long, and let's see if one of them can lead their team to victory. Guys, back to you. Slick feed. Nice zone entry from the left. Cutting to the slot. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Comes up with the stop. Effective use of the paddle on that one. Oh, turn to the side once again. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. And there's a collision. Picked up along the boards by Carlson. And now he moves it quickly to Raquel. And he lowers the boom there. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Palmenville. some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Came up with a save on that play. Denies him again. Well, you know he's a fierce competitor and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Takes a shot. Blocked in front. Scooped up along the wall by Burns. Exploring options from behind his own net. He got thunderstruck. The Penguins gained control of the puck. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Wax it into the offensive zone. Skates across the blue line. Centering to the middle. And that goes off a stick and off target. Oh, that's a rattler. Did you hear those boards rattle? Broken up in the neutral zone by Kaprizov. The Penguins are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all those interceptions where they've been great spots and finding ways to get the puck. Doing a great job defensively, but they've got to convert. Pittsburgh's, here we go, two on one. A pass. Oh, it's stayed out. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Johns gains the zone. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Turned aside with the club by Fleury. Late goings of this period. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. Granlin's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. And a good save on the play as action continues. Well, he's the one that you want to have the puck on your stick. He's the leader in the room. He's the leader on the ice. He just doesn't get it done this time. Good stand-up hit. Minnesota's moving it along the wing. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries more. Oh, what a save! Oh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. And now it's over to Niederreiter. And he takes the pass. Oh, to Mason with the paddle save! are lined up and we are ready to resume.
momentum up along the side. Moves it quickly over to Hannafin. Pittsburgh's on the attack. And he takes a shot. Big stop just as time expires in the period. There's the horn for period number one as it comes to an end. We've got lots more action. Two more thirds of this one to go. Stay with us. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? Flurry's performance was outstanding in the first 20 minutes. I mean, he got shelled. He's got to be exhausted, James. His team needs to pick it up in front of him if they want to stay in this game. Nice reflex by the goaltender to get his glove on that one. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. And that goes off a body. Takes it across the blue line. Here's a short pass to Michael. Looking to make something happen at center. Hooked away by Suter. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Feeds it on over to Silverberg. Takes a shot. Oh, and there's a great save by Flurry. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Minnesota's looking to convert on some of these chances. They've had plenty of opportunities, but have been snake bitten thus far. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. From one end of the blue line to the other. about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well and the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. The Wild have put themselves right back into this one after that goal. Well, good teams have a way of burying the bad play and looking ahead and they've done just that, getting themselves back in this game. The Penguins win the faceoff at center. Getzel's got it in the offensive zone. And that turns off a body in traffic. Minnesota's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Slides it diagonally to Malkin. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Slides it quickly to Burns. From the right side, they gain the zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Congestion blocks that. Denies him on the slapper. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Minnesota's look good offensively to this point, but they continue to trail here in the second. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. Forces the turnover. He got all of that one. Now he takes it over the line. Fires it on net. Tremendous stop by Flurry. Moves it to Suter. Scores! There it is! His first of the season, and look at the smile there! Oh, a great shot. He's going to beat the goaltender here, James, but he drops to that butterfly position. He tries to take up most of the net. But the shooter just finds it, finds a little bit of room, and buries it. More than half the period left to play. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Now a quick pass to Stahl. Handles the pass. Quick pass across to Nieto. And it's a quick pass to Eriksson Ek. Oh, big time save by Dudnik. Great reflex is another save. A scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly since an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. 
I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. Pittsburgh's gone up by one here in the second period. Now, it's been a lot of hard work and heavy lifting to get to this point, just to get that one goal lead, James. Not only do they want to hold on to it, they want to extend it now. The Penguins win it. And now he angles it across to Raquel. Here's a shot! Off the glove, but the puck skips away. Unable to reach that one. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Pittsburgh's been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck, and when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But it has to translate to something. This is still a close game. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Minnesota's got to find a way to break on through. They've had plenty of shots on net, and yet they trail here in period number two. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Lemieux. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Denies him with the save. Goaltender covers up. We got to stop at your play. Past the halfway mark of this period. 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. Off the face-off, they take the puck. And he loses control of the puck. Quick pass to Kane. And he takes the feed. On the attack along the boards. Picked off by Lemieux. It's a two-on-one. In on the attack. And that rush comes to an end after a great defensive play. Moves it quickly over to Koibu. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides it on over to Kaprizov. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Granlin. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Oh, he'll feel that one. What a steal in his own end. Works it across to Granlin. Here they come on the attack. Shot! Oh, that has some heat on it. He makes the save. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Face off and he wins the draw. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely to say the least with that one goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there and they got to do a job. Burns knows his team needs a spark here, guys. If he can use his zone ability to get them going offensively, that could be what they need to help eliminate that gap. Minnesota's got it in the offensive zone. So we are tied after that power play mark. Well, it's perfectly executed, and the coach has the most skilled offensive players out there for that very reason. They tied the game. Power play execution is all about retrieval and owning the puck. If you don't possess it, you can't score. But it comes right off of the faceoff. And how often do you work on these set plays where you're trying to get the look that you want, and then you convert? Beautiful play all the way around. Here in the back half of this period, we are all tied up in this one. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Looks to pass it to Crosby. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Takes the feed at center. Quick shot! He gets a piece of it with his trapper. Nice play! The Penguins gain possession. Poked away at center by Kaprizov. Minnesota's moving it into the offensive end. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck.
just here in the late stages of this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. Gains the zone on the left wing. He to the middle, and that's intercepted. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Minnesota's got it against the boards. Yeah, that's a bad pass, and they'll be forced to do this over again. trying to hold that lead. And that pass attempt is deflected. And now he moves it to Eric Sinek. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he just couldn't properly connect with that shot. And the middle frame almost done. And that's a smart heads up play by Niederreiter. Grabbed along the board by Cullen. Scandella's lugging the puck. Here's a short pass to Granlin. Scores! And that's three unanswered goals. And as my mom likes to say, they're cooking with gas. <laughs> they're cooking with gas. And you can expect that they have put their opponents on their heels. This is a team that knows that they have worn their opponent down. Now they got to keep the pedal to the metal. Minnesota's been dominating the pace of play all night, and Cheryl, they've now extended this lead to two. It's been a dominant performance, James, right from the puck drop, and now they'll be heading into the intermission. They'll want to make sure that they reset. You know their coaching staff is going to be telling them, listen, right from the third period on, we got to find a way to finish, execute, and continue what we started. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Rust. There's the buzzer, bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. Puck is dropped on the third, and if you love offense, well, stick around for this one. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Minnesota's ahead in this high-scoring affair, but it is action-packed. One team scores, and the other team says, yeah, no, it's my turn now. I mean, the counterattack has been unbelievable. flurry has got the puck, and he's going to slow things down. Well, he's slowing things down because his team has been under siege, James. It's the third period. It's a tight game, and he elects to get the whistle. I like this decision. It's the right one. Now everyone can get a rest and coach can get the right personnel out there. Lemieux won the draw here in the defensive zone. Oh, a huge hit against the wall and you know they felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically. Pay the price. Use your body and get the puck. Michael's got it against the boards. Denies him in close. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender a task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Cutting to the front of the net. Oh my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. From the right side, moves it up ahead. They've got numbers here. Boldy's got the puck along the wing. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Here he is on the backhand. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Angles it over to Kane. And now he tries to get it across to Malkin. We got a whistle offside to call. Lots of 
time left in this period. Minnesota's got a two-goal cushion here. They lead it 5-3. The Penguins get a hold of the puck off the draw. Rocks him on the play. Puck dumped in. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Moves it to champion. And he takes the feed. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Oh, and another save. Closer to the midway mark of this period. No shortage of offense on display tonight on the ice. It's a 5-3 game. Minnesota's won the draw. Rips it. Oh, what a big time stop by Flurry. Minnesota's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Erickson X, quick stick off the draw, wins possession. And he takes the dish. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Michael. Dishes it to champion. Moves inside! That's some smart heads up defensive play by Graves. Pittsburgh's working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. When you're talking about stick positioning, they're doing a great job of taking away passes. And there's the save. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Oh, that'll make his teammates take notice on the bench after that hit. Scores! Well, just what the doctor ordered, and they cut into the lead. Oh, yeah, after that goal, you can sense the momentum shift, James, and it's all about swinging and seeing if they can string a couple of good shifts together and get the equalizer. They've narrowed it within one. Pittsburgh's goal has suddenly tightened the gap here in period number three. Well, they're within one, James, and it's not enough right now, so they're going to have to continue to counter, transition quickly, but most importantly, retrieve the puck. That is critical to be able to possess it. Shot denies him on the one-timer! And there's another stop! A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Penguins make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. And that's poked away by Johns. Delayed penalty coming up here. Quick whistle stops the play. Well, everyone has a job and a role to do, and guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead. Now they're protecting it. team is trailing and he's out there looking to make a difference for them guys one way he can do that is by using his zone ability to get things going offensively and he slides it quickly to Lemieux oh just a great heads up play by Stahl gets it out of his own end quick feed to Lemieux makes his presence known on the ice the Wild have possession shorthanded nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck quick feed to Granlin Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Pittsburgh's crossed the line and on the attack. Fires it! Scores! And the power play works to perfection as they've tied it up. Well, the power play unit knew what was at stake. They knew that they had an opportunity to get the equalizer in this game, and they executed perfectly. Such an impressive goal, James. The way he used his pace to drive the net, and once he had a step on his opponent, he wasn't letting them back in. Pittsburgh's determined effort has resulted in the tying goal in period number three. They've had a lot of pushback and a lot of fight in this game. They've been poised, they've composed, but now they're finding a lot of fire in their step and a lot of jump as well. And they've got the equalizer and they got to continue on, continue to press and contribute more. Play whistle dead offside the call. Still lots of time left in the period. It's all tied up. 
Michael's quick stick lands on the puck here at center. Knocked off the puck. Slump. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the tap, but clearly the game's changing. Slides it back to the blue line. Denies him! Dubnik's been consistent over the course of his career, mainly because of his positioning, James. He gets set to that puck, square to it, and makes the save. And that's blocked. Quick pass to Kane. Deep inside his own end, right in front. Can he get out of pressure? Tries to feed it over to Boldy. What a hit on the play. Oh, my. Now well, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags them, knowing full Engage that puck. <laughs> Love it. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Moves it over to Scandella. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Puts it on net. Inside his own end. Slides it diagonally to Niederreiter. And down he goes as the puck goes free. With the stop. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. A big face off here inside the offensive end. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded in close space so fast and just taken down. Oh, what a close save by Fleury. Feeds it over to Crosby. Taken by Suter. Dubnik's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Carl's got the answer as to who had the better night. Lemieux's been buzzing, and he's been rewarded here. His name in the box score proves he's had a stronger night, guys. The Penguins win it. Great defensive effort with the stick. Here's a short pass to Carlson. Oh, how did he come up with that stop? And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Late goings of this period. We got a tie game. won the face-off. Minnesota's got the puck. Moves it to champion. Uses the force on that hit. And he denied him there. Drills him. Carlson's got it along the wing. Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive Everything now, it's on the line. The goaltender's trying to play the game of percentages here. He drops into the butterfly position, making himself as big as he possibly can. But guess what? There's a few inches available up high, and the shooter converts. The Penguins with a huge goal here in this third period. Now buckle up, and can they hang on? Oh, I think it's more than hanging on, James. they got to continue to attack, and they've got to manage the puck. I mean, yes, it's the third period. There's a lot of runway left here. It's only a one-goal game. There's a shot! Oh, he had that corner, but he puts it off the outside of the post. Minnesota's players and staff are going to be extremely frustrated here. They keep wiring it off the post and getting real good looks. But their shots are just a little too far. Suter's got the puck in his own zone. Final minute to go here in the third. Coughs it up on the play. Quick feed to Craze. He says, let's get physical on that play. 
There's the whistle, and here's the call. Back and forth action, back and forth penalties as one from each team are heading to the box. A little four on four coming up here. And off the draw, they win possession. Taken along the wall by Costas Bear. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. He scores! And they do it again and again and again! Man, the coaches will be preaching. Listen, have no mercy. Continue the pounding, continue the beating because they are on a roll. Well, the key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to in the wheelhouse, where their blade, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. Minnesota's put plenty of pucks on net here tonight, but they still trail late in the third. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. And now he moves it quickly to Addison. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Oh, he gets hit again. Well, this is a tough enough game as it is, but if you have your head down, you are going to get lambasted over and over again. Moves it in front, and he'll hang on to it to regroup here for a moment. Now a quick pass to Jones. Levels the back of him. And we are all with this one tonight. What an energy in the building tonight here, Cheryl. I mean, this thing had a little bit of everything, and I didn't want it to end. Well, in particular in the first period with the number of goals, high-flying offense, then everyone kind of settled in throughout the game and got back to playing some defensive hockey. Hope everyone had as much fun as we did here tonight. For all of us at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski saying peace.